Hey what team, my name's Ben and this lovely human being is Joey and we are doing Guess That Coronary Artery Disease. What do we have this time? This looks like a non-STEMI or a non-ST elevated myocardial infarction. Okay, looking at the coronary artery, what's the pathophysiology? What's happening in here? Okay, so it looks like we've got atherosclerosis, as you can see, um, and we've got a really thin, um, what's the word? Fibrous cap. Fibrous cap. And so that looks like it's ruptured and it's damaged the blood vessel. Like, if we cut ourselves, it's going to clot. And the same thing has happened here. A big clot has formed. All right, got this big clot. What what is that going to do to affect the myocardium? So, it's the, the lumen is the, the, the space that the blood flows through the artery, right? And that's decreased significantly, as we can see. A little bit's coming through, but not enough. Um, and what that means is that it's caused death to some of the cardiac cells. So the, the cardiac cells have infarcted. Okay. What's this type of infarction called? This is called a subendocardial infarction. Okay. Sub, because it's deep or below. Endo, within, cardial, heart, infarction, death. So you can imagine the blood vessel is going to be on the outside of the heart tissue. So if only a small amount of blood is getting through, then the outside is going to get that, but then the deeper layer is going to suffer, and it's going to be the first to die. So that's our subendocardial infarct. All right, this person is going to go to hospital, hopefully, and have blood tests done. What are the troponin blood tests going to show? It's going to be raised because we've got infarction. We've got death to cardiac cells. So what is troponin? Troponin is a protein found inside the cardiac cell. And when these cardiac cells die, they release what's inside them. And we can test for a protein um, called troponin. And it's, it's specific, this type of troponin is specific specific to cardiac cells. Okay, so we see infarction, so we're going to see a positive troponin test. And what part of coronary artery disease does a non-STEMI uh, come under? That falls under acute coronary syndrome. Oh, what is non-STEMI? Where did that come from? This is... Thank you. I'll get out of the way. So, non-STEMI, this is our ECG. So... P wave, small Q. Now, this is our QRS complex. It goes up. And generally, you get ST depression with this, but we definitely don't get ST elevation. So, the ST segment, which is right there, is not elevated. So, if we draw a line from here, we can see that it's not elevated. Okay, good as wood. 